I'm Yogi Stillness, and thank you for joining us. I'll be your guide in today's meditation. Today we'll explore the idea of storylines, and how creating stories can trap us into belief systems that may not serve our highest purpose. Let's begin by taking a comfortable seat on the floor, a cushion, or in a chair. Reach out through the top of your head as you allow the rest of your body to relax and settle into stillness. When you're ready, gently close your eyes. Let's take three breaths together now. Begin with a deep breath in and a long, deliberate breath out. Another inhale and a slow exhale. One last in-breath, hold it, and then a clearing out-breath. Let go of your control over your breath now, and allow it to roam as it desires. When you notice yourself having a thought, catch yourself and say to yourself, thinking, as that is all that is happening in this moment. This thought is not right or wrong, real or unreal. It is just a thought. Continue watching the movement of your breath for some time in silence. If your mind has wandered off, notice that it has most likely wandered to the past or the future. Come back to this moment. This moment where you are breathing in and out. Continue to catch your thoughts and return to watching the breath for some more time in silence.
bring your mind back now, observing the movement of the breath. Since childhood, we have been captivated by stories. As we grow up, we find that many of our lessons are most powerfully taught through stories. It is no wonder that when we are trying to avoid facing a hard truth, we make up stories to justify our actions, a form of spiritual bypassing or some combination of the two. We all have many examples of storylines we create. Our brains are association machines, and we love to associate experiences with meaning. We can often do this by filling in the blanks and connecting the dots. More often than not, not all the screenwriters are present, and the story comes from one perspective. A biased story, if you ask me. This biased, one perspective story can create harm in how it's framed. A storyline is a way to justify what happened, simply a made up story. While this may sound crazy, we've all experienced some version of this. We may make up storylines to justify something that we were doing because of this, that, and then. We make up a story about what has happened at work because of a coworker or a colleague. But the more we create stories and blame others for our circumstances, the more trapped we become by the story we created in the first place. The good news is that if we wrote it, we can unwrite it. If it were literally someone else's fault, we wouldn't be able to do anything about it. However, it is often not anyone else's responsibility, but our own. We have the opportunity to rewrite our stories. If we don't like the story, instead of blaming or gaslighting, we can have the courage to be truthful with ourselves and say, we don't like our current story. Then we can come up with what we can do to change it. It is within our power to rewrite the story and outcome of our own lives. This is important because our lives don't end up like fairy tales. They continue. A daily mindfulness practice helps us to let go of the stories of the past or the fantasies of the future, to land in the here and now, seeing things just as they are. Seeing things just as they are is a great place to start. Come back into your body now. Try raising your arms up overhead for a breath or two. And then release. And take one last clearing breath in. Hold it. And let it out. And then allow your eyes to open. Thank you for showing up for yourself in this practice today. We are so grateful for the opportunity to support you in self-care and look forward to meeting here again tomorrow.